So what ends up happening is Lily calls, this is before Charlotte goes to the real deal, but she calls the family into the living room. So we got Rock there, we got Harry, we got Anthony, we got Charlotte. Lily is at her keyboard. She's got a great voice. She's playing the keyboard and she's singing a song she wrote. And here are some of the lyrics. Caught inside this gilded cage, Park Avenue streets, where do they lead? The power of privilege. I wish I could remember how the tune goes. The power of privilege. I'm not allowed to be me. I'm a good girl. I'm a good girl. I mean, it's okay. And so then Anthony leans over and says to Charlotte, who is she? Lily Eilish? Come on. That's fucking funny. And this is when I went, oh, the entire point of this subplot is so that Anthony could say, who is she? Lily Eilish? That's the entire point of having Lily get a keyboard and express through song that she feels like she's in a gilded cage. That's even though that's a great plot point. It was all about that. Just like I'm convinced the second Sex in the City movie was only with the whole movie was based around the pun. Samantha saying oh, Lawrence of my labia. That's why they went to the Middle East, because Michael Patrick King woke up in the middle of the night with a pun. And he's like, how do I make a movie about this? I'm not fucking kidding. So he's like Lily Eilish. I know. I promise you it started there. I promise you. So I don't care anything about that plot. Way too many children on this show. What am I watching? There's fucking less children on Sesame Street than in Just Like That. Do you understand me? There are less children on Sesame Street. I'm not kidding. Watch Sesame Street sometime. It's all puppets and adults. 